Welcome to Your Company Health Podcast, where we highlight the success stories of entrepreneurs and business professionals. With your host, Andre Wright, CEO and founder of The Wright Consult, and Anne-Marie Gillio, CEO and founder of Core Matters. Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast, the show where we highlight the success stories of business owners and professionals. I'm your host, Andre Wright, owner of The Wright Consult. And I'm her host, Anne-Marie Giglio, the owner of Core Matters. Today we, we have Dr. Susan Williams of Sweet Life Chiropractic. Doctor, how are you? And uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm awesome. Glad to see you again. And just to get things going, uh, I want you to tell us, tell us your story. How did you get in, 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 uh, into chiropractic care? Well, I started in massage therapy and... Um, I was also working in pharmaceutical research at the same time. So I was using my brain during the day at the pharmaceutical company and using my hands and heart at night doing massage. And I, I was looking for something that I thought would combine all three, head, hands, heart, spirit, and uh, chiropractic was the answer. Oh, Really? Yeah. Did you did you live here in Marietta or Roswell or somewhere when you had this revelation or did you come from somewhere else? Uh, I was living in Indianapolis and came down here to go to chiropractic school at Life oh. in Marietta. So that drew you in. Okay. <clears throat> and then you opened your practice in Marietta? Yes. That was 20 years ago, 22 years ago now. Okay. So you've been doing this for a while. You clearly have a lot in your head. Mm -hmm. Um and did you not, did you teach at Sweet Life for a while? I, I did. We teach seminars here for the technique that we do. So are you still teaching at Life University? Oh, I, um, at Life, I taught for a while. I did uh, taught in the research department. And uh, here in the practice, uh, we teach... Uh, Blair seminars and so yes we're still doing that okay so the so you're doctor doctor then so are the <laughs> are the seminars the Blair seminars for your clients at the at the practice no they're for uh, chiropractic students or other chiropractors okay is that like continuing education for them or is it um mm -hmm. it or, is? or more in-depth um, knowledge about that technique because what they get at school is a pretty superficial presentation. Right. So why don't you tell our listeners what the Blair technique is? I mean, we're familiar with it, obviously, but a lot of people aren't. They think about chiropractors as kind of backcrackers. So um, let's set the record straight. Well, Blair is a technique that is uh, considered an upper cervical technique, meaning we focus on the top bone of the spine called the atlas. And 2% uh, of chiropractors practice upper cervical chiropractic. And then Blair is a subset of that. And what sets us apart is the specificity that we use both in the analysis and in the adjustment of the upper cervical area. So the other practitioners of upper cervical are just more generalists or what I don't understand what we do because that's very specific for top two bones upper cervical doctors all focus on that on that top bone in the spine the top two bones um, and that that is distinguished from the 98 percent of chiropractors who would consider themselves full spine chiropractors that adjust that area, but that's not their specific focus. Does that make sense? Mm -mm, I think so. How, so tell us why that's so important to, to focus on that. Well, anatomically, all the nerves in the body start in the brain and go through that top bone mm -hmm. in the spine. And so if it's out of alignment, it can affect anything in your body, any function. Right. Um, any organ, any muscle, any, any cell. Because you're, you're impinging the downstream message and the upstream message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so it's obvious that, uh, and Dr. You're a proponent of the, the Blair technique. 
But I want you to, uh, you know, tell our audience about uh, your services. Uh, what are the key services that you offer? Well, obviously, chiropractic care, and we also have uh, massage therapy in our in our practice. Um, as a part of seeing patients, we provide guidance on things like lifestyle, um, nutrition, and um, exercise, but but those are ancillary. I would not consider myself a nutritionist uh, or an exercise therapist. We just know some exercise that helps support the body in their healing process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. The other thing I think that maybe sets your practice apart is the detailed intake that you do on clients. So how about you walk us through that? Because I, I found that impressive. Well, we basically ask about your entire uh, health and medical history. We, we want to know what's going on in all the systems of the body. Um, a lot of people think chiropractic is aimed at um, back pain, neck pain, headaches. And of course, it's very effective for that. But it also helps with any system in the body. So we ask about How's your neurological system? How's your gastrointestinal system? And, and we discuss all of those as a part of our intake. Then we do an examination. We take x-rays that show us exactly how the bones have moved out of alignment. And, and that tells us what we need to do to adjust the bones. Now you also do a thermal analysis of... Indeed, that's part of the exam. We use an instrument that measures the temperature on either side of the spine in the neck or in the full spine. And if, if the nervous system is working properly, the temperature is the same on both sides. And what we find with people that come in the first time is that there are differences from one side to the other. One side is warmer than the other and that we see on that scan. It doesn't mean that one side is bad and the other side is good, but it does indicate that the nervous system is out of balance because the nerves control the capillaries which in turn control the temperature of the skin. Mm -hmm. And that's a technology that's been used in chiropractic almost from the beginning. But of course, it's developed um, technologically over the years. Right. And, and, and doctor, uh, that type of x-ray, is, is it something that you do based on symptoms or uh, it's, a, it's a part of your process? So, so what I'm getting at, I wanted to tell our audience, uh, if, I, if, you, if I just come in as a, a first-time client, Way to walk us through the process. Yeah. Well, there's that. There's that consultation where we go through your health history, then the exam, including the thermographic analysis, and then uh, almost everybody does get X-rays, especially of the neck, because that's how we are able to tell if the um, the bones are out of alignment and how they're out of alignment. That tells us how to adjust. The only people that really don't get x-rays are children under the age of seven because the bones haven't fully formed. And we don't also do, we also don't do x-rays on pregnant women until their uh, babies are born. Um, and, but once they, once they are, then we'll take the films to show us how the, the bones are, have moved out of alignment. Then we do an adjustment and the adjustment is very specific, precise. It's done with the patient lying on their side and the, um, with their head on a piece of the table that drops down. It's very gentle, um, but because of the specificity, it's also very effective. The first time I had that done, I had no idea it was done. Mm. <laughs> I was like, are you, what are you done? You want me to get up? You didn't do most anything. People, most people are like, really? Did you really do anything? That's but, how gentle it is. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's astonishing actually. 
Thank you but, for the uh, comment. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. So, so doctor, I've, I've heard this a lot, you know, a lot where uh, people, they stay away from chiropractors because they believe that, you know, once they, once they, you, you get them in, uh, it's like you're hooked forever. <laughs> so what do you, so what do you debunk this misconception? I've heard that. <laughs> I, I have to tell people that all the time. So why don't you go ahead and explain what the, the big picture process is? Well, the big picture is that we want you to get well and live your life. That's, that's what our goal is. And um, once, once people reach a maintenance um, plan, uh, I recommend coming in once a month just to get checked. I, I don't expect to even have to adjust someone that often. I just check them to be sure they're still doing great. Mm -hmm. So the, the, sometimes when somebody goes in and the doctor says, well, I need to see you four times this week, or I need to see you three times or three times next week. Um, there is the idea that as the adjustments hold, you taper off on a frequency and then eventually you're in a maintenance program and that can take what, any amount of time or is there some, well, of course, it depends on each individual person. Someone who's been in a bad car accident uh, the week before is going to take longer and more frequent visits than someone who, you know, has a relatively healthy lifestyle. But we don't see anyone three or four times a week. That's just not our practice. At most, we would see somebody twice a week for the first couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And then it moves out to once a week and, and fairly quickly, usually within the first six to eight weeks, we can put somebody onto a maintenance plan. And that's, that's, we can do that because of the specificity of our adjustments that they last longer. Right. If, if your adjustment is holding and you don't need to be adjusted, then we're going to push it out. And that also means your nervous system is working at its best when you're holding your adjustments. That's right. great. That's great. Right. And, and, and doctor, uh, you know, we're in the, the greatest pandemic of all time. And, you know, we, we ask our guests this all, all, you know, like every time we do the, the interview, we're, we get different perspective. We want to hear from you. Uh, how has the, the pandemic impacted your business? Well, at first, of course, people were so nervous about coming out that that our number of visits went down and that that diminishment lasted for, I would say, a couple of months. But then it started back up again and we're back to where we were pre pre pandemic. In fact, it seems like people, of course, are more interested in being healthy now mm. because they understand the potential impact of not taking care of themselves. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So, so talk to talk to that a little bit. How how having good chiropractic care and a well aligned spine and no impingements affects your immune system? Because that's the, the, that's the thing, right? It's your immune system. Absolutely. Um, as I said before, your nervous system controls everything, including the organs of the immune system. And um, when the last pandemic came in 100 years ago, uh, people who were under chiropractic care had much better outcomes than people who were not. So that Ooh. has been uh, researched and and demonstrated that. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I, I have that on the front of the website, <laughs> <laughs> right at the top. <laughs> that's good to know. I did not know that. That the chiropractic. Well, that makes sense. Was a hundred. Was around a hundred years ago. So. Uh huh. What about telehealth? Uh, I know during the process, I've, I've spoken with other doctors, and they, yeah. they, you know, that was a big thing for them during this process. We have people who want to talk a lot. Mm -hmm. especially now they want to talk on the phone about um, you know, what's going on with them before they come in. They want to be sure we are honoring uh, CDC guidelines and, and protocols, and, which we are. And so uh, there's th that's, that's something that can be done 
uh, remotely. Uh, do you take all type of insurance? We are out of network with all insurance companies except Medicare. We're in network for that. Meaning if your insurance policy covers out of network providers, then it would cover our services. Um, some do, some don't. That's just something we can check on when uh, either before or when the patient comes in. I ask this all the time at the end of the, the, uh, the interviews, if you could tell us one thing that you need to invest more in and you're not doing, it could be personal or business. For me, uh, I would say my grandchildren. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> time. okay. Mm -hmm. they, they are the light of my life. And, and that's what I would do if I um, could invest more time in them. That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. Are they nearby? They are. All of my grandchildren live in Georgia. So I'm oh. very blessed. Very blessed. Yeah. That's great. Nice, nice. And good answer. And doctor, how can our audience reach you? We are, um, our website is sweetlifechiro.com. The phone number is 770-640-9145. My uh, email address is drsusan at sweetlifechiro.com. I'd love to hear from your listeners. Oh, they should definitely reach out to you if you're looking for a chiropractor who, who knows this business from being a chiropractor and teaching chiropractic technique. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong with Dr. Susan. That's for sure. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, that's true. And, I, and I, I, I second that. Two thumbs up. <laughs> All right, doctor. Yeah. Uh, I know you have to run. And uh, you know, I want to thank you patient. so much again uh, for coming today. And, uh, and uh, we we'll talk. And let's, let's keep in touch. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much. Be safe Thank out you. there. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode. Please visit our website at yourcompanyhealth.com. Also, you can listen to us on your favorite podcast platforms. Follow us on social media at Your Company Health. And lastly, subscribe to our YouTube channel for new episodes and highlights. Until next time, stay safe.